back to another video so today's video a tbr prompt jar is going to be choosing my october tbr unfortunately i've had to do it a different way as i have like a big storage thing <laughs> in my room currently so my tbr uh, is right next to me and i'm just going to like obviously choose the tbr prompt and then choose the book as always so i'm gonna start rambling and let's just get right into it okay so let's pick the first prompt unfortunately my hand cannot fit in here properly a book with a number in the title oh wait we have first day it's that number not really that's like a place isn't it yeah i don't really think that's a number oh okay so i'll just turn my cart around we have a few options here so we have one dark window i have been wanting to read this one for a while i have heard amazing things about it so like i am excited but obviously i'm a bit nervous as like i'm not really a big fancy reader but i have heard that this is great for forward hence why it's on my full tbr which you'll see soon <laughs> But I am excited for it. But then we also have the Atlas 6, which I'm so nervous for. This has been on my TBR for a while, like a very long time. But I'm just nervous for it because I've heard like controversial things about it more recently, like negative things about it. So I just, I don't know. Okay, yeah, so I think that's what I have from what I can see, at least. Um, but I think out of two of these, I'm leaning more towards one dark window. As I also do have a video planned for this, and like I was hoping to do it this month at some point anyway. So I think one dark window is the one. Okay, let's pick the next prompt. Hopefully, we'll have better luck with the next one in the sense of hopefully, I'll have more options. <laughs> Oh, okay. A book from my favourite genre. So, my favourite genre is mainly romance, but also, like, mystery thrillers. I think I'm going to try and go for, like, a romance as I have a fancy, and I know that I'm going to, like, need a romance at some point. Okay, we actually have a lot of options. <laughs> Too many options. I know I said I wanted more options, but... Okay, a few that I'd like to actually get on the TBR for today, and obviously I can get most of these on. So, we have Gothicana, but I'm not too sure if this is, like, romance. I know there's romance in it, I'm pretty sure. We have Love and Written. I dark window have his first date I have so many options so i think these are the ones that i'm leaning towards i just can't decide right okay i'm thinking gothicana is my next read anyway i'm filming this on the 3rd of october then this being my next read anyway but like is that cheating i don't know so i'm kind of leaning towards that then i'm also leaning towards first date because it's short i can easily finish this very quickly like it's less than 300 pages so i am also leaning towards that then i'm also kind of leaning towards travis for the same reason these two are like longer so maybe we'll take them off for now so it's between these three i think i'm gonna go for gothicana just to make my tbr a little bit easier for the sense of i don't know why but i am all over the place with my reading at the moment so i think i'm gonna go with gothicana i actually don't know how many i'm gonna choose today i'm just gonna see how i feel okay let's get another one been on my tbr the longest so we have the atlas six <gasps> way city of bones okay it's gonna have to be this one isn't it it's gonna have to be city of bones because i know for a fact out of all the books on my tbr right now this is the one that i've had the longest i got this book when i first started getting into reading this was like my first fantasy book that i picked up uh well brought i brought this like four years ago all these are the books i brought since then i know for a fact it's this one and obviously i'm gonna have to choose it um i am excited i'm not like disappointed about this one because i have been wanting to get to it for a while the thing that have been that's been putting me off getting to this book is the different orders of like how to read it because I've been recommended loads of different things and other people say loads of different ways and I'm like, I don't know anymore. Um, but I think I'm going to read the first three books in the series and then do the switching of however it goes. So this is one that I added onto the TBR. Okay, next one. Oh, we've got another short paper. A pretty cover. Okay, we have quite a few options for this, I would say. So we have Love Me Do. I think this is a pretty cover, but it's summary and we've just got into a fall. You can also say uh, Once More With Feelings, maybe? Oh, okay. Love and Written. I think is a pretty cover. I also think Daydream is quite a pretty cover and also a Dark Romeo. I think I'm leaning more towards these three as these ones I kind of want to get to and I think I'm leaning more towards the love of written because I've heard great things about this book. I've heard that people have loved this one more than the first one. The first one I think I rated three stars or 3.5 or something like that. I can't really remember if I'm being honest but I've heard this one is better and also it's a single dad trope and that is like my favorite trope i think i'm going to go for this one okay so we have four books on the tbr so far okay next one 
<gasps> a small town romance. Darn it, I should have left uh, Love and Written. Okay, I don't know if I have any small town romances on here. Wait, we have Travis. Archer's voice was set in a small town. So like, would this one be set in a small town? Okay, I'm just going to guess that this is a small town. Obviously, you can never be 100% as Archer's voice was set in a small town. And obviously, Travis lives in that town. I'm only going to guess that this is also a small town. Hopefully, I'm not wrong. But I do believe this is the only one I have that's small town. Because I just chose a love and written for another prompt. So I'm going to go with that and we're going to hope. Okay, let's choose another. I'm hoping to get to quite a few of these books. Another short one. Continuous series. Oh, okay. So for this one, we can have a daydream. We can have the happy ever after playlist. We can have Daisy Hate. But we can also have Exodus. I think these are the options. Oh no. I don't know what one to pick now. Because I actually do really want to obviously get to all of these. Okay, Exodus will take off for now. The Happily Ever After playlist will also take off for now. So it's between these two. Daisy Hates has been on my TBR the longest. I literally only got this last month, I believe. So what one do I want to read? I do want to get to the series. I just don't think now is the time from what I'm feeling of what I want to read right now. So we're going to go with Daydream as this one is catching my attention and i've had great things about this one so yeah we'll go with daydream we have six books so far i don't know if i want to go for like a reasonable tbr like should we do eight because i know i can do that or like should we push it i don't know we'll see a book with a person on the cover so we have first date we also have the happy ever after playlist we do have more but these are the ones i'm leaning towards first that as people on the cover i suppose you could because it obviously is people but i think i'm going to Go with, oh, we also got that. I don't know if you can class those people. I think you can. But I think I'm going to go with, uh, oh, it's first down, not first date, sorry. I'm going to go with first down as it's the shortest and I would like to start this series. I've heard controversial things about it. It is a sports romance, football, and that's all I really know, if I'm being completely honest. But I'm excited. Go for another. Let's try and get, like, a good shuffle. Oh, one fell. I don't know what one to go with now. I'll go with the one that I picked out. A book with a great first sentence. Oh, okay. This one's going to be fun. So let's see what options we have. We do have Daisy Hates. So let's read the first sentence. No guns at the table. That's my, my one rule. Call me old fashioned. I don't know. It's just what I've always said to the boys. Oh, okay. That's actually like more than one sentence to be fair. I don't know. That one's not really grabbing me. That's not like really. Okay. Let's go with the happy ever after playlist. Let's see what this one says. Do you want me to meet you at the cemetery, Sloan? Oh, okay. So, if you want to be sad, I suppose. Go with My Dark Romeo. I always assumed my life was a romance novel. Okay. I kind of like the sound of that one. We'll put that on a different pile. How to end a love story. Let's see about this one. All things considered, her little sister's funeral is a pretty boring affair. Oh my goodness. What's with, like, the funerals? <laughs> Um, okay, okay. Consider me, maybe? I have been wanting to pick this one up for a while. Oh, lovely. It's the F word. <laughs> okay, great. Um, okay, let's try one more. Let's try go for the truth about tomorrow. This is quite a thick one. It has been on my TBR for a while. Hands gripping my waist are the wrong size. I think the one that's gripping me the most are these two. But I think I'm going to go with My Dark Romeo because I feel like there's like more being said. I always assume my life was a romance novel. Like I feel like that gives a little bit more. It doesn't really give like context, but I don't know. It makes you want to continue reading. And that's like the feeling I'm getting. So we'll go with My Dark Romeo. Okay, we have eight. I kind of want to keep going. So let's go for ten. A popular book. Okay, we have quite a few options for this one then. I think I know what one I'm kind of going to go for because this one's like quite popular. I do want to read it and that's Daisy Hates. We'll put this one on the TBR. That one wasn't a very hard one. Okay, one more. This is the last one. A mood read. Okay, how exciting. Yay, I'm so happy I got this. I don't know, like, what would I want to pick up now? I suppose Gothic Khan was kind of like a mood read, like, pick. But I picked that for something else. You know what? I'm going to go for it. I'm going to go for The Truth About Tomorrow. As this has been on my TV for a while. And I did, like, the sentence to this one. And I've been excited to read this one for a while. I just, I didn't have it physically until recently. But I feel like, like, this is one that I just kept forgetting about until now. So... This is the one I'm going to choose. I'm going to do a little wrap up of my October TBR. So we have 
One Dark Window, Gothicana, City of Bones, First Down, Daydream, Love Unwritten, Travis, My Dark Romeo, Daisy Hates, and The Truth About Tomorrow. I'll try my best to do some kind of reading wrap up, uh, reading vlog like I did in first, I think I was no July. Um, I'm gonna try my best. I'm not gonna promise anything as I'm struggling with my filming, but I'm trying to get back into it. I'm trying to like force myself to like get back into that routine. I let myself slouch for a bit, and now I'm trying to get back into it as much as I possibly can. But but anyway, thank you all so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed. Please remember to like and subscribe. And I hope to see you on my next one. Bye.